Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and today is Black Friday, which kind of sparks the run up to Christmas, I guess, from a consumerist let's buy everything standpoint. And Wargaming has marked it by releasing probably one of the most unpopular vehicles they have ever produced in World of Tanks. So that vehicle is the T-34 Black Edition, or perhaps it's called the T-34B Ultimate, or maybe it's the T-34 Shadow Ultimate. I really don't think they can quite make up their minds with this vehicle on the different regions. Wargaming mostly thought that it would be a clever gimmick to be selling a black tank on Black Friday. However, they really have completely missed the point from a buyer's perspective. And that is, as I mentioned, that Black Friday marks the run-up to the Christmas period where stores are heavily discounting products to attract buyers early. The bizarre thing, however, is that the black T-34 is not discounted at all. In fact, it is more expensive than the standard T-34. And by a hefty margin too, we're pretty much looking at it costing nearly an extra half over the regular T-34. And that is because Wargaming are back to their old shenanigans from 2015 of forcing you to buy extra content that you may or may not want with brand new vehicles. This is really something that I hope that they weren't going to bring back and one of the main reasons why a bunch of contributors, including myself, went to Cyprus earlier this year and it was one of our main points that we presented to the CEO, Victor Kisley. I guess Wargaming will argue that the Black T-34 is not a brand new tank as it is identical to a regular T-34. But as a tank collector, I feel this is a unique vehicle to have in your garage with an opportunity for its own ace tanker to have in your vehicle statistics. And talking about the vehicle statistics, Statistics, they're completely different to the standard T-34, which in my opinion is enough to justify this as new content that really just shouldn't be bundled. But I feel the real losers are the North American server because at least while on the EU, you know, I've, I can always make use of gold and personal crew training is always nice and 15 times 5 experience for a victory, well that's alright if I need that boost. On the North American server, they force you to buy 7 days of premium and 3 pieces of equipment which I guess come to about 1.5 million credits if of course you don't buy them on discount. And if you buy all those pieces on discount, that's pretty much only going to cost you about 750,000 credits, which you're going to get for playing this tank about 15 times. And honestly, buying equipment in bundles is one of the worst ways of investing your money in World of Tanks. I think one of the main reasons why this Black T-34 is so unpopular as well with the community is that it's the same damn tank that many of us already have. And you know what? The T-34 is the second most popular heavy tank in the game, which now means that all of those owners feel like they've got an old outdated version of the tank that is no longer cool. And many of these drivers must have paid at least about 35 to 40 pounds for this vehicle. In addition, this tier eight premium American heavy tank is being sold just a week after we saw another tier eight American premium heavy tank. And so you've got to ask yourself, do we really need to have two American heavy premium tanks within 10 days of each other? But I'm fairly sure that it was probably the popularity of the T-34 that led Wargaming to choose this as probably their first black premium tank. Perhaps another reason why this has been a very unpopular decision by Wargaming is the fact of the short availability of this tank. You have between two and five days to decide if you want to get it or not. And while I guess there's nothing wrong with having a second by second clock ticking down until the tank is no longer available, it just feels like we're really being pressured to make a decision whether we want this tank before it's probably gone for good. And the final exasperating aspect of this whole black T-34 shenanigans is that if you're lucky enough to play on the Russian server, you can pick up this tank for less than £35, which is massively discounted compared to the regular T-34. Which I really think would have been a far better, fairer, more attractive price point to spread across all servers. Why not actually put out a discounted T-34 for a very short window to reward players who were there at that moment? Which I think is the whole gimmick of Black Friday, at least from a consumer's perspective. One thing I truly think Wargaming have missed out on with this whole idea of black camouflage on a tank is that why didn't they just incorporate it into the exterior system that already exists for the T-34 that's already in the game? Maybe they could have called it the first epic camouflage, 
legendary camouflage. They could have put it down here and charged a thousand or a thousand five hundred gold for each one of these slots. And then maybe they would have broken into the market of all of those T-34 drivers, rather than frankly upsetting all the current T-34 drivers and forcing them to go and spend another 50, 60 euros on rebuying a tank that they effectively have just so they feel like they've got that new toy. It's totally understandable and desirable for Wargaming to make lots of money from World of Tanks. I want to see this game continue to be developed for years to come. I truly love what they've done with it and they deserve all the success that they can get. But when that success comes at the expense of community happiness, I just don't think they're really doing the right thing. 75% of people disliked their latest T-34B back in black video. And when we look at the official forum discussion on the T-34 black edition by the community team, not a single person has liked it. Yet over 30 people have liked a post that says, what a joke. But thankfully it's not all doom and gloom because Wargaming have also done some great things this weekend. If you play on the EU server you get triple experience and there's discounts on equipment, retraining, consumables, camouflage and also converting for free experience. And that is the same deal on the North American server as well. So top marks for an awesome special this weekend. But if you play on the North American server I'll let you in on the hottest deal to pick up this Black Friday. And that is 360 days of premium for less than $46. That is the cheapest that I have ever seen premium time available across Wargaming's platform ever. And remember, it's going to work both for your World of Warships and your World of Tanks account. And so if you're ever looking for a, a big bulk of premium time, now's the time to pick it up. But unfortunately, there's nothing like that for the European server. Anyway, I hope this video wasn't too rambly and I know it lacks gameplay. I'll make it up to you tomorrow. I promise you I'll release some awesome gameplay. But I really want to know, am I on the same wavelength as you guys? Do you think Wargaming is just pushing a little bit too far with the whole sellout thing this weekend and they've kind of missed the whole point of it? Or do you think it's completely fine and I'm just whining? Either way, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.